Thank you, God. Send the glory. I give you glory. It's simple, I give you. Lord, I give Thank you praise. Uh-huh. Good, 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 good morning to each and every one of you. This is Pastor George P. Lee III and St. John the Mighty Fortress bringing you once again morning manna. Go ahead, start clicking, start liking, start sharing, start commenting. As all of you are coming on, start saying hello to everyone. As we always do here, this is your virtual church family. And so we're grateful to see each and every one of you as you're coming online, as you're popping up, as you're getting ready for other virtual services, as you're getting ready for some of you to come and worship with us here uh, at our drive-in worship at 10 a.m. on the campus of St. John the Mighty Fortress, right here in the soul of Savannah. We welcome you to this another experience of Morning Manor. It is a great day to have a great day, isn't it? Regardless of whatever is going on around us, above us, you know, even sometimes within us, it is still a great day to be alive. Remember, life is wonderful. We take this moment and opportunity um, as you're logging on and as you're joining us uh, to always remember those uh, that are sick, those that uh, are afflicted, those that are going through various challenges. And as you share your prayer requests, your prayer concerns, today's word is gonna come from John chapter 10, verse 28. Gospel of St. John, chapter 10, and verse 28. Something that's very special uh, that you need to hear this morning that's gonna get you going through the rest of the week. So as you're taking this moment to share in your praise reports, uh, your prayer concerns, or those things that you need to be lifted up before God, remember uh, myself along with the ministers of the Mighty Fortress and others are joining with us this morning and they're praying with us and they're praying for you that God is gonna do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask or think. How many of you know that prayer changes things? Not only does it change things, but guess what? It changes the person who's praying. I thank God that even in the midst of me praying at times, that I was praying for one thing, but God was doing a new thing inside of me. And that is the joy. I hear the word of the Lord saying, if my people which are called by my name would what humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then, and only then, will I hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and I will heal their land. So as you are posting uh, those prayer requests, let us prepare to go to God in prayer this morning. Lord, we want to thank you for allowing us to see this beautiful and wonderful and glorious day. It is glorious because you made it. And as I hear David saying, this is the day you've made, we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. So Lord, whatever happens today, whatever comes our way, allow us to know that you are still in control. As grandmama said, you sit high, but you look real low and you're able to do anything but fail. Touch every person and every household, God, that is joining us this morning and allow them to know, God, that all things are still working together for good to them that love you and to them that are called according to your purpose. It is done right now in the name of Jesus and we thank you, God, for the victory. Thank you, God, for the victory. Thank you, God, for the victory. Let every heart say amen, amen, and amen. Again, for those of you who are just waking up, you're putting on your rouge and everything else, thank you for joining us here at the virtual worship experience of St. John the Mighty Fortress for another Sunday morning manna. Remember, you can always join us, not only here on Facebook, but YouTube, Periscope, Twitter, and Instagram uh, if you desire to follow us through all of our services. The word of the Lord today in the Gospel of St. John, chapter 10 and verse 28. This what is what he says here. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. Let me say that again. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them 
out of my hand. Isn't that a powerful, powerful scripture? Uh, knowing that God has you in the palm of his hands and no one, I repeat, no one can take you out. This morning I want to share with you just real quickly, God's got you. God's got you, God's got me, God's got us. In the midst of this isolation and separation um, that is going on around us, we feel so alone. Even during seasons of loved ones passing away in our families, the traditional practice of homegoing services where individuals will be able to come and gather to be able to support us is not happening right now. And causes us almost an insult to injury, being by ourselves, grieving in the midst of our loved ones transitioning. But I want to let you know today that regardless of the pandemics and the protest around us, God still has you. He's got you and we're right here in the palm of your hand. In the scripture is well and true and sound that no one and I repeat, no one can snatch you out of his hand. Even when coworkers and supervisors and financial difficulties seem to try to snatch the breath out of you, God says, no, I got you and can't nobody snatch you. It reminds me of a story of a little boy who was playing down by the riverbank one day and uh, his grandfather uh, was tending uh, to some other things around the area and the little boy did not notice that there was an alligator uh, that was watching him closely. Uh, before uh, anyone knew it, the alligator had grabbed a hold of the little boy's leg and started pulling him down into the river. The boy was screaming for his grandfather. His grandfather rushed over, grabbed him by his arms and began tugging and pulling and it appeared as the more the more that the grandfather tugged and pulled the, the the stronger the alligator was tugging and pulling at the boy's legs the boy was screaming hollering and crying there was one of the neighbors passing by in his truck and heard all of the commotion going on and uh, jumped out of his truck and reached and grabbed his shotgun uh, out of the back and he ran down and he saw what was going on and he was able to shoot uh, the alligator and the little boy's leg was released um, weeks later, uh, upon the recuperation of the young boy, one of the news reporters uh, interviewed uh, the boy and he, and he asked him what had happened and what had taken place. And so the little boy was showing him all the scars that was on his legs. But he wasn't proud of those scars, but he said, but right here, there's scars on my arms because that's where my grandfather was holding and pulling me with his hands and he wouldn't let me go. How many of you today, amen, can say that as I look at my arms, there's scars there, not because of what someone was doing to me, but because God had me and he kept me even at times when I couldn't keep myself, that when the world tugged at me and when they tried to pull me asunder, God said, ain't nobody or nothing gonna snatch you out of my hand. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that wonderful to know that in the midst of everything that is going on, he has you. And so I hear the words of Paul that I'm persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any living creature, nothing. Now I need you to type N-O-T-H-I-N-G in capital letters. Nothing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Why? Because God's got you. And if he got you, amen, it don't matter who is against you. That is an awesome, awesome, awesome reminder for each one of us going through the difficulties of this season in life. I desire for you to be a part of our virtual family. And do you mind if I extend an invitation for you to become a part of what God is doing in this season with us and with our family? Repeat these words. Dear Lord, I am a sinner and I'm asking you today to become the head of my life. Please forgive me from all of my sins. I believe you died on the cross for me and three days later you are raised from the grave. 
And because I believe today, right now, I am saved. Now, Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. What I want you to do right now, uh, not only to tell others that I'm saved, but I want you to type, God's got you. I, sometimes we need to encourage one another. God's got you. There's somebody who's watching this who thought that they were by themselves, who thought they were dealing in this season all alone. But just really type real quick, God's got you. Now, uh, stay tuned as we share with you ways in which you are able uh, to share in the giving of your time, your talent, and your tithe with St. John the Mighty Fortress. There are several ways to give to support the ministries of St. John Baptist Church, the Mighty Fortress, your time, talent, and tithe. We've made virtual giving so easy. Just text St. John SAV to 73256 and follow the prompts. That's St. John SAV 73256 and follow the prompts. Or you can call the number right on your screen to speak to someone and give your credit card information. 912-844-1872. That's 912-844-1872. Or feel free to mail in your cash, donations, and tithes to St. John Baptist Church, The Mighty Fortress, 2415 East Duran Avenue, Savannah, Georgia, 31406. And to give your time and talent or to find out more information on everything going on at St. John the Mighty Fortress, including our virtual worship experiences, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Periscope. Or go to stjohnsavannah.org. Bless you, bless you, and bless you once again for taking the moment and opportunity to share with us in your time, your talent, and your time. Oh, this is a wonderful day. Uh, this is a day for us knowing and realizing that God's got us and he ain't gonna never let go of us. Now join with me as we ruminate and reflect on the sights and sounds of St. John, the mighty fortress. Blessings, blessings, blessings once again. And always remember, drive in worship right here on the campus of St. John the Mighty Fortress, 2415 East Duran Avenue, the soul of Savannah, 10 a.m. Come as you are in the family car. Bring the dogs, the cats, maybe even the goldfish. Don't forget Thoughtful Tuesday. Thoughtful Tuesday every Tuesday at 7.30 p.m right here, as well as our new segment of Mighty Fortress Moments, giving you an opportunity to have a daily devotional with yours truly, Pastor George P. Lee III. Remember, share, like, comment, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, as well as stjohnsavannah.org for more information regarding how you can help us help you live an enriched and fulfilling life. Remember Morning Manor today, God's got you. Human rejection only means God's divine protection. Until we meet again, remember the three words that we say here, type it with us, all is well. Thank you God, send the glory. Simple, I give you. Lord, I give you praise.